Sorry, you don't need lights for in-system uh, ambient occlusion. Um, if you're doing uh, rendering ambient occlusion, then you would need the lights because then you wouldn't be able to see anything. But um, Blender's ambient occlusion system does not require shadows. You can choose to do it um, without shadows and everything, and it just bakes on um, sort of a coded, coded shadow pixel shader type thing. It's really neat. So hopefully this turns out well. Um, it's still working, I think. Hopefully there aren't too many flip normals, but I expect there should be. Um, while we're waiting, I would encourage you guys to check out the YouTube channels. Uh, Brian Tech, um, he does some really cool stuff. He's a really funny guy. He's also a really good friend of mine. Um, he does some really nice stuff. Um, I'll have all of his links in the in the chan in the sorry in the video description along with Dreamvoid Studios, um, who's an affiliate of Darkhouse um, Softworks, which is my company or my team. Uh, it's not a company yet. We'll we'll soon get a trademark and a. Uh, all that stuff to make us official, but um, pretty soon you'll be able to see us on uh, darkhousesoftworks.com. Um, we're working on a really nice website; is turning out great so far. So um, look forward to that. Uh, and uh, the main thing is, I really encourage you guys to check out Flux Dev. Uh, Flux Dev is the channel where you're going to see all the development updates, announcements, and all that awesome stuff on Flux the game that I am, me and my team are making, and uh, we're all so excited about it. I mean, it's going to be so cool, guys, really. Um, I don't want to tell you guys too much, because a lot of it's top secret, but you'll get the basic gist of the game uh, when you go to that channel. Uh, trust me, it's definitely worth your time. Just click that link right now, and uh, please check it out. So yeah, that's it, and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more updates, because there's going to be some really nice stuff coming out soon. Um, there's going to be a game demo released as soon as we possibly can. Um, we really care about um, our audience and our fans and everything, so let's go to textured mode and see how that turned out. Alright, so it looks like we had some flip normals here, here, and here. So let's go into edit mode. Whoops, what did I do? Uh, oh, let's go into edit mode. Select a vertice from that, from that, from these. And we probably have some on the bottom. Yeah, we do. Um, all right, after we've selected at least something from each of those, we hit Control L. And uh, let's make sure those are the only ones that have flipped vertices. Um, no, it's not. Those do too. Basically what happens when you have a really high poly model and you do a, uh, a render like this, it'll flip some vertices. Uh, and also, I think my sound card's a little bit buggy. Or, not my sound card, my video card's a little bit buggy, so that might also be a contributing factor. But if this happens to you, um, if the normals are flipped, then you'll see these black areas show up on your AO. And um, if that happens, just do what I did. Select, go to dot select mode, and then uh, select your dots on each one. You don't have to select all of them, just one on each, and then control L, and it'll uh, select whatever those dots are linked to. So I think that's everything that is uh, flipped right now. So what you have to do is select everything, and then go to this panel. Uh, you can hit F9 for the editing tab, and then Mesh Tools and Flip Normal. And what all that what that will do is um, flip the normals for that, so the normals will be baked uh, now instead of um, bypassing that. So I'm gonna do another AO pass. So uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Hello everyone, it is Gray Walker again, or not again, but I'm back. Um, this is the ship. It looks awesome, if I do say so myself. Um, and now we are going to texture it. So 
Here's our AO unwrap. Let's pack this in. Image, save as. Let's save this on our desktop as the AO spaceship.png. Um, let's minimize this. Let's open up GIMP. By the way, this is the Flux background. I'll have that up for download in the description, maybe, if you guys are lucky and I'm not lazy by the time this gets uploaded. It'll be in the description for download, so if you'd like that, it is really cool. I love it. Um, yeah. So, let's file open. Open up our image. Spaceship. Whoop. Yeah, AO Spaceship. Um, okay, so people ask me, Gray, how do you get the that awesome scratch paint look? And I'm like, well, I'll make a tutorial on it someday. Well, this is the tutorial. So, let us duplicate this layer. Let's put an alpha channel so we can have transparency. And uh, then we're going to go to select by color, find a black part of the image, and hit delete. And that deletes all the black on the layer. So now we have this on top of this. Let's color this, uh, or let's make it a brighter white. Um, that's cool. I like it. Um, okay, so as you remember, we went to Google Images and we looked for, or I'm sorry, we went to CG Textures and we looked for a metal plating type thing. So um, let's go to Edit, Paste As, and New Layer. And then we're going to go to Filters, Map, Tile. And let's tile this up to 2000. This will make a new image over here, and then we're just going to select all, copy, and then delete that, delete this, and then edit, paste as, new layer, and we're going to size that up so it can fit our whole unwrap. Blah, 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 waiting on the, okay. So that's done. Let's change this layer into a normal. So as you can see that, just change that. Let's desaturate this. Um, and then we're going we're gonna to make it brighter. Let's see, does that look good? Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so let's um, merge that downwards. So now we have this on top of that. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so let's uh, make this actually a little bit darker so we can see the better contrast. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So now that we've done that, we are going to go to artistic and oilify and we're going to turn the map size to about 13 and this is going to take a little while so uh, I'll come back when this is done alright so now that it is done oilifying uh, basically the reason that I oilified it is because what it does is it constrains it and uh, it allows you to see like for instance Look at this, you can see how it, it constrained the white, and you can see the black underneath it, kind of like uh, if paint was wearing um, on these edges and stuff, it constrains it. Constrains it. Um, this is the only tool that I can find that actually does this uh, really well. Um, if you guys know of any kind of constraining tool in GIMP or a plugin or something, then uh, let me know because that would be really helpful. Okay, so after that, where uh, we don't, we want to make the the wearing paint scratchy um, instead of just worn. So what we're gonna do is go to noise slur, and let me move this out of the way and put this up here. Basically, what this does is kind of creates this kind of I don't know how to explain it. Just click yes. <laughs> just put the repeat up a few notches and then click yes and then you'll get this effect and what you're going to want to do is drag your image up just a bit after you've done that okay 
So we're going to hit control save. Actually what we're going to do is merge this downwards um, and then we're going to make this darker just so we can see the um, contrast. Okay, and then we're going to hit control S. Hopefully this turned out well. Um, it'd be really nice if it did. If it doesn't, then I will pause it and come back when it does. Um, but this is basically how I do it. Um, as you can see, this looks awesome. And uh, all the normals are perfectly fine. And um, I'm going to have a turntable up on Flux Dev of this thing. Uh, right now, it looks freaking awesome. And this is basically how you make a starship, guys. I really hope you liked the tutorial. Um, I haven't done something in a long time like this, so uh, pardon if I didn't do it completely right. Or uh, And if you have any questions or suggestions, then please let me know. I would love to hear them. Um, so this is the starship. This will probably be in the Flux game, honestly. Um, it turned out really well. So, yeah, guys. See you later. Thanks a lot.